not to be super philosophical, but I've been living this year uh, full of realizations and kind of living through what I learned not to do and what to do. And one of the things is not to fix what's broken, although I've never used this. And the other thing I learned is you can't wait until things are perfect, so I'm going to show you. I bought this in Italy, and these are the things that I bought in Italy very, very randomly. Not all of this, but I'll just show you. Because I was going to wait until I organize all of this to show you in categories. Obviously, that's not working. So, this is just a uh, art thing. It's at the same store. They just had this, so I bought it. I want to put it somewhere when I have my own place, not like a rented place. So, I have not hung this up. I got this giant bowl just to wash strawberries. I just... I just thought it would be so cute. I don't know. Just to wash strawberries. I have no idea how else I'm gonna use it. It was just cute. And this is the little little bowl. I thought maybe like strawberry yogurt. And this is ceramic strawberries. Look at all these details. How cute is that? So I bought three because it fits into a bowl. And this is like a matching thing of that. This is napkin holder that ma matches this jug that matches this um i don't know what it is exactly for and this little mini um i don't know what this is called and i thought maybe i can put something like i don't know some kind of dish food i think this is for butter maybe not this is someone that i use for the strawberry pistachio tart video I thought this would be really cute with to have like a whole strawberry cake. I think that's all the things that I bought in Italy. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. But yeah, if there's anything you see in this video you want to know more of, let me know. Um, but yeah, so don't wait until things are perfect and do not fix what's broken. It's already broken.